Hello! For today's lab, we're going to be discussing conservation of momentum. What I have right here is a track, and I have two carts that are approximately equal in mass. When we get to the end of the video, we will solve for or we'll weigh the mass of each of these objects. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to start with both cars at rest. So any initial momentum for the first three experiments would be zero, which means that the total momentum after the three experiments should also be zero. Um, with the two carts right here, there's a spring that we can release between the two cars. And when the two cars are released, they're going to travel off in opposite directions. This will be our negative direction, and then this would be our positive direction. And for all of these experiments, because like I said, the total momentum is zero for the first three experiments, the total momentum of this car should be equal and opposite to the total momentum of this car. In our last experiment, we're going to create an inelastic collision. So for an inelastic collision, we're going to flip our car around and we're going to use the Velcro portion on each of these um, cars. And then what we'll have them do is we're going to have our blue car slide into our red car, lock together and slide off together. For each of these experiments, we're going to solve for the time it takes for the cart to go a one meter distance. And if we know the distance and we're going to solve for our time using our two stopwatches right here, we can solve for our velocities and we'll know the mass of the cars. So using our mass and our velocity, we can solve for our momentum. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get our mass. Mr. Peterson is going to get the mass for each of these cars right here. So we're going to start off with the red car and the blue car. Um, keep in mind our balance is in grams, so we're going to have to convert to kilograms, and that's the mass of the red car. So, make so sure that's going to be 0.2525 kilograms for the red car. And this is the blue car, that's going to be 0.2531, and that's the blue car. Okay, let's look at our times. Our time for the red cart is 1.41 seconds. 1.41 seconds for the red cart. And for the blue cart, we have 1.60 seconds. 1.60 seconds. Go. Okay, so we're going to start our second experiment now. Once again, both cars are starting from rest. So in this case, once again, both of the initial momentum, total initial momentum is zero. So when we conclude the experiment and we do our calculations, we should find that the total after momentum adds up to zero as well. What we've changed in this uh, experiment is we've added two 250 gram masses. So they're gonna add up to 500 grams, but we're gonna convert it into kilograms. So it's gonna be 0.5 kilograms. So when it comes time for you to solve for your momentum, Make sure that you're changing the mass from 0.25, what it was before, adding this extra 0.5 kilograms to the mass. And then we'll time once again the distance to go negative one meter, the distance to go positive one meter, and then add them together to see how close we get to the total momentum of zero. One, go. Okay, so our time for the red card was 0.7 seconds, red cart, 0.7 seconds, and the blue cart was 2.59 seconds. The blue cart, 2.59 seconds. Go. So we are now going to start our third experiment. Once again, for this third experiment, we are having another, in, uh, sorry, another elastic collision. And in this elastic collision, we just added an additional 250 grams to this cart. So now we have added an additional 750 grams or 0.75 kilograms to this blue cart. We're going to have the same type of collision before and we'll have our red car go only a half a meter in the negative direction and the blue car is only going to go a half a meter in the positive direction. So we've shortened the distance a little bit in this experiment because the increased mass leads to some increased friction. So we're going to go a half a meter in the negative direction for the red car, half a meter in the negative direction for the, in the positive direction for the blue car, and then we'll find the total momentum to see how close it gets to zero. One, go. Okay, so our time for the red cart, this is the red cart, 
It's 0.43 seconds, 0.43 seconds. And for the blue cart, for the blue cart, 2.06 seconds, 2.06 seconds. Okay, we are now on to our fourth experiment. So we're changing over from elastic collisions to inelastic collisions. So what we're gonna have in this case, the red and the blue car have Velcro pieces, and because the Velcro, they will stick together. And we should know at this point that if two cars lock together, when they lock together, they create an inelastic collision. So when they lock together, they create an inelastic collision. So what we'll have when we do this experiment is our red car will slide into our blue car. They lock together, so they stick together, and they're going to move on together in an inelastic collision. Once again, just a reminder, even though it's an inelastic collision, the total momentum before should be equal to the total momentum after. The important thing to keep in mind for this experiment is that the total momentum before this collision is not zero. Because the red car is moving before the collision, the red car has momentum. So afterwards, the total momentum of the red car should be equal to the total momentum of the red car and the blue car added together. Okay, so our times for the red cart was 0.96 seconds, the red cart 0.96 seconds, and for the red and blue carts combined, 1.03 seconds. 1.03 seconds.